You're right guys, Gary back again. In this video, I'm going to show you how I painted this. That's the uh, Cyberpunk Rocks of the Model Box Fox. So, uh, let's get on with it. As always, I started off by painting the fur base colour of Jacaro Orange uh, from Citadel. I do have the idea that uh, I'm going to use the paints that came in this month's box as well somehow, but I work out a way a little bit later. There we go, so just do the tail. And then we do the metal, like the uh, arm, gun, fake ear, sunglasses to start with. I'm painting these lead belcher. It's a nice base of silver. Oh, and that little uh, side computer thingy, Bob, that's on his hip. And of course, adding the white tip to his tail. But, uh, which one's that? That is uh, Ceramite White. Oh, and then obviously. Uh, little bit of fur underneath his chin. Would be great if the camera focused on that bit. But, uh, you know. And then for the trousers, I'm trying out uh, Brown Green Flip from uh, Instar uh, Paints. Uh, they came in... I got some colours from, from these guys in last month's box, the Medieval box. And I quite liked them, so I went ahead and ordered uh, their entire flip range. And then I went and used my fist and red to do the gloves. Uh, for the jacket I used uh, Moot Green, because I wanted to try and be bright, because to me Cyberpunk is bright colours. I'm going to be honest, I don't really go into painting with a specific scheme in mind. Um, I sort of wing it, which sometimes works out okay, other times not so much. But yeah, tidying up the moot green. And I decided to try out something new and give it a little uh, dry brush of uh, Flash Gits Yellow. And then went back to the shirt and uh, did that Mephist in Red as well. bright garish colours with a bit more lead belcher on the metal panel on his chest And then I did uh, a bad and black on his boots. And then over the belt. And I think this is this is where I definitely did something wrong. I did black on the sunglasses because I have an idea in a minute that uh, takes a lot longer than I thought to though longer than I thought it would to actually work out. And then for the padding on the shoulders and the inside of his jacket, I used steel Le uh, ha, steel legion drab. I'm not quite sure why, but it, it seemed nice. So I'm very tempted to just draw a big X on this painting mat just to try and keep my hands in place. Maybe that'll sort out the focus a little bit. Oh, and then I went and dry brushed uh, Vermin Lord Hide over the trousers to try and give it a bit more of a, a worn in look. Because I do like the, uh, the brown green metallics. 
Oh, and then uh, Agrax Overshade over all the fur just to make it a bit more of a dirty look. Which, in hindsight, I probably could have done without doing this compared to what I'm about to do to it. And then I went over the uh, boots again with Eschen Grey. Not quite sure why. And then tried going over the belt again. I keep chopping and changing colour schemes at this point, I think. And then start going over the buttons again with Lead Belcher. Nice silver buttons. Silver patches on the belt. And there's a little, little ridged bit on the back of him as well. I think he's looking nice. Uh, adding some non oil onto the uh, the metal bits to obviously wear them in a bit. And then on the inside of the jacket, try and add a bit of something to the padding. And then I believe in a couple of seconds, I just go sod it and uh, try to make the jacket look a bit dirtier as well. I think overall it came out looking all right. It's all a learning experience to me. No and oil over everything. That seems to be my standard routine at the minute. And my idea was to actually go over the glasses uh, and the fur with uh, the fluorescent orange from War Colors that uh, we got in the, or well, I got in this month's Cyberpunk box. I think for the fur it came out all right, but then I changed my mind and uh, went with fluorescent pink for the sunglasses. And there's a little bit of uh, piping coming out of the little silver box on his side. Unfortunately. I didn't realise exactly how many layers I was going to have to do to get a good coverage because I'd done the, the, the black base on the sunglasses. I did not film every single layer, mainly because it was about 20 layers just to get it to look one colour. And then I figured I'd paint the uh, the end of his metallic hand sort of fluorescent orange just because it, maybe he's he's tried to fit in a bit more. Maybe he didn't want everyone staring at his robot arm. Oh, and of course adding the uh, screen with uh, staggered and scale green. Because you can't have a computer without a monitor. I think it came out quite nice. Oh, and then uh, Caribou Crimson wash over the shirt to give a bit of depth. Bit more Agrax Earth Shade over the fur to get it a bit more, not quite so bright. And there he is. I think he came out quite nice. And what I really like is if you put a UV torch on it, this happens. Which I think looks very cyberpunk. There. Nice. Well, that was the end of the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, how would you have done it differently? That's going to be my question. Uh, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. There will be more stuff coming in the future. Uh, I hope to see you around. So until then, uh, this is Gary, a.k.a. Hopeless Chatter, and I'll uh, see you next one. See ya!